everybody, this is Amy from Magic and Light Collection. You can find all of our products at www.magicandlightcollection.com. Today I'm going to be working with the Estate Collection of Actions, and I'm going to be working on an exterior image that I shot last year. And what I'm going to do is navigate to the Estate Collection in my Actions window. Today I'm working in CS6. But Elements users, you will just navigate to your estate actions in your photo effects palette. So I'm going to go ahead and open. On this image, I'm going to use the all-in-one exterior shot. So I'm going to select this action and press play. I'm going to let the layers run through and then go ahead and look at them once it's finished. So you can see it did a few different things to our image here and one of them is going to be too flashy. We'll start here and see the changes. Too flashy is really going to rein in the highlights. You can see that it makes a really big difference here on the lawn and also in the sky. It's a little bit blown out here. It's blown out in the eaves and the trim. And so too flashy is going to keep that in check. Next we have lighten the mood. This is going to lighten the image and if it's too light just go ahead and take it down a little bit. This is definitely a little bit too light. So I'm going to use the master opacity slider and just take it down to a reasonable level. I think that looks pretty good so we'll leave it there. The next one is color boost. We're just going to see what that's doing and that looks pretty good. Again, if you feel like it's too much, just take the opacity slider down. The next one is bleach. This is going to give it a nice crisp look. That one looks good to me, so I'm going to leave it as it is. The contrast layer gives it also a nice crisp look and it looks pretty good to me, so I'm going to leave it as it is. Actually, I might take it down just a little bit. Let's see. I think right there looks good, 92%. Okay, so now once you get to the layers with the black layer masks, these are layers that you want to go ahead and paint on. They're not going to appear in the image as they are, you'll need to paint on the effect. So we have a black layer mask. We want to be sure that we choose a white brush. So I'm going to go over to my tools, select a brush, and you see now the foreground color is black. We need the foreground color to be white in order for it to be a white brush. So we'll click these arrows and select a white foreground color. The next thing we want to do is check our opacity slider on our brush, which is going to be how much we're brushing on. Right now it's set on 27%. I'm going to take it down to 20%. And then I'm going to make sure that I have the black layer mask selected. This layer is the uh, green grass, so you can brush on green grass. This is really awesome. So I'm just going to paint on and make the grass green. I would be much more careful if I were not doing this tutorial, so be sure that you're being careful when you're brushing on the green grass. If you run over on some spots, go ahead and switch black to, back to a black brush, and then paint off the areas that you accidentally painted on the green grass. Now it's not green enough, so we're going to make another swipe with the white brush. This would be for a total of 40% since our brush is set at 20 and we've gone twice. Now let me give you guys a tip here. Be careful not to let up on your brush because this is what will happen. You're going to start going over, making the grass green. And then you're going to let up and you're going to get a double effect. So one portion of the grass is going to be greener 
than the other. So that doesn't work. So make sure that you hold down the brush continuously. If you mess up, step backward by going to edit, step backward until the effect is removed where you messed up. And I accidentally brushed on a lot, so I'm going to have to step back a lot. You can also use the Alt Control Z. This will create a shortcut for you, or you can switch back to a black brush and brush off the problem area, whatever you feel comfortable doing. So if for some reason the colors look funny to you, you can mess with the blending modes on this. Right now, green grass is set to overlay, but you can see if I set it to soft light, it changes the effect a little bit, it's much less. I'm going to put it back on overlay. And so the next layer we have here is a dark brush. If something is too light, you can go ahead and selectively brush it to make it darker. We'll try this on the grass. Selecting the brush tool with a white foreground color, since we're painting on a black mask, we're going to use a low opacity, 0 to 20 percent, and we're going to brush on a little bit of darkness. Now I messed up here. Somehow I got a little bit darker. My mouse has been acting funny, so I'm going to just step back a little bit and redo it. Okay, so I'm just going to paint on the grass to make the grass just a little bit darker here. Now, sometimes the dark brush can come on as a little bit to, um, I don't really know how to describe it, but it's a little bit too solid almost, and so what I like to do is put it on overlay and it blends just a little bit better. Now this is not always the case, but in some cases it does work like this. So you can see that the dark brush was on normal, and it's a little bit gray. Maybe that's what I'm looking for. It's a little bit too gray, and when I put it on overlay, it blends much better, and it's a little bit darker. And I think I want to do one more pass on this, and just darken it up a little bit more. So I could leave it like that. You can see it's a lot darker. Now we'll see before the green grass. It's really, really brown. Now it's green. So the next one is the light brush. If you have some shadows on a front porch or in an eave that you want to get rid of, then you can use light brush to accomplish that. And I would choose a, the brush tool with a white foreground color. And again, start with a low opacity and work your way up. There's a little shadow right here. I would not crack this if I were working on this image, but I do want to show you all what the light brush does. So you can see that it lightens up your shadows. takes away some of that darkness. So this is before I use the light brush. It's pretty dark under there. And this is after. Again, I would have been much more careful if I were working on this image, but for the purposes of showing you, we want to make it fast. The next tool that we have here is the color brush. And you can use this to selectively brush on color. So I'm going to choose the brush with the white foreground color at a pretty low opacity, and I'm just going to brush on extra color here on the stone. Okay, I think that the landscaping could use a little bit more, so I'm just going to hit that really fast. And I think that 
I might just go over this stone one more time. And maybe up here a little bit. Just to bring out a little bit of brown. Try one more time. Okay, so before the color brush, it's a subtle difference, but it's definitely there. Pay attention to the stone. Check it back on. It's much bolder. It's a nice difference. So let's take a look at where we started. This is the image before, straight out of the camera. This is the image with all-in-one exterior shot. It's a big difference. So I hope you found this tutorial helpful and you can find all of our products at www.magicandlightcollection.com.